Hey Ralph, this is Rich. Um, just making a short video for you to show you the phase shifter before I put it into its final stages. Pardon the pun. Um, so this is the prototype I made. There's a cardboard uh, phase plate as you can see. This is a uh, Catgirl uh, stomp box adapter. If I don't get that one finished soon, my entire modular is going to be cardboard, so I better get on this. Anyway, uh, so as you can see, we got it into the 1U format, your two control voltages, your two outputs, your input, uh, input level, depth, rate, and feedback, and then your 4-8 uh, uh, phaser uh, uh, stage shifter, and your triangle and ramp wave selector. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we'll take the output from this Q106 here, let's get a nice pulse wave out here, and we'll go into the input here and we'll come out of the phase shifter. Now the sound's not going to be super great, I apologize for that because I'm just using the uh, the iPad's uh, 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 microphone so it's not as good as when I record through the mixer, but here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to play around with some of the controls so you can get an idea. Here's the depth. Great control. And then your feedback amount. Change waveforms to triangle. We'll go to eight stage phase. Turn the feedback up. It gets a little crazy up there. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, the LFO off of this deep equinox and we'll use that in control voltage number one. And just uh, show you output B, it's pretty much the same. As you can hear, it's attenuated a little bit, and uh, I noticed uh, some posts about that. Go back to A. Notice it's a slight bit louder. Now what I'll do actually, just for kicks, is we'll take output B, we'll run it into the Catgirl VCA. And for a few more kicks, I'm going to take a, another Q106 that you may not be able to see in the picture. I'm going to take a triangle wave out of it. We'll go into CV2. We're just speeding up the LFO on the 106. We'll take the CVs out again one at a time. Take the first one out. Go to eight phase, eight stage. Increase the depth. Great. 
So there you have it. The uh, hang on. The MFO, MFOS, the eight stage phase shifter. Uh, I'm going to post this up on YouTube for you to have a look at. And uh, if you like the design um, of the uh, of the panel, I'll prepare a silk screen for it. I've got one for you and one for myself for now. And uh, I'm kind of happy with the design. I like the fact that it's squeezed down into one U as opposed to, you know, taking up as much space, especially in a portable guy like this. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll go from there. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat module, uh, significantly different from the Oakley. And uh, yeah, thanks definitely for recommending it uh, as, as a build. As I mentioned, I haven't built any of these yet, but uh, I'm quite happy with this, these, this, uh, this device and uh, plan to add it to mine as well. Um, that's it.